I would always, always, um, if I'm trying to do a smoky eye, make sure that you do use your face prime foundation concealer under the eye and light powdering, which is obviously what you do. Um, I'm not sure whether you are using the um, eye prime, but definitely using the smooth out eye prime on, I don't tend to use, I know some people do use it underneath. I tend to just use it literally on the lid area and on this area. Um, I find that using the concealer underneath is enough to stop transferring, but you know, that, that, that's up to, I know some people do use it underneath the eye as well. Um, blending that well and not using too much of the, um, the, the lid, the eye prime. Um, and when you put it on, make sure that your eye is, is sort of dry and oil free. Now, when you're actually, if you're doing a smoky eye, you might well be putting a little bit heavier makeup on. You might be using the, the charcoal or depending on whether you're warm or cooler um, or the warms. So there are two things you can do to help protect because often what happens is you get a little bit of transfer as you're actually doing the application that you might not necessarily see. Um, so you can either, some people like to hold up just a cotton pad like this when you are putting on your darker colors. Or what I sometimes do is to put a little bit of translucent powder using a cotton um, ball just here and here before I do that, that part of my eye makeup. And then at the end, I just dust it away with a big powder brush. So you might find that actually what some of the transference is starting earlier in the day. So really, really, really make sure when you've done it that you clean up everything. As Trisha said earlier, using a cotton bud um, so that there's no little specks um, to, to transfer. Um, the other thing that you might find, because it does depend on the shape of your eyes as well, as to some people just whatever they do get a little bit of transference. And for that, I would suggest at the end of your makeup, you go one step further and use a setting spray. So I like the Urban Decay All Nighter one. Um, I also like Model in a Bottle. That's another good one, Model in a Bottle. So when you've done your whole makeup, um, and you, if you do find you get transference, if you just close your eyes and hold it about 20, about 20 centimeters, 30 centimeters away and spray all over, just let it dry and then open. You might find that also helps with transference. And obviously if you're using mascara, do use the waterproof one rather than the other one. Um, Finally, you might be somebody that actually doesn't realize that you touch your face quite a lot and touch your eyes. So that's tricky to know whether you do that. But obviously, you know, the more we fiddle with our eyes, the more likely you are going to get a little bit of transference. So difficult problem, but hopefully some of those ideas will help a little bit.